A huge wall collapse triggered a lava tsunami in the deadly crater volcano in the Iceland's Reykjanes Peninsula. The volcano practically had a wall collapse. These walls are very hot at the same time. They take a lot of load on them. They cannot keep it the fall. This is basalt, not very strong material. Also, they have a lot of bubbles in them, as you can see. That's the reason they bubble up and they erupt. The bubbles pressure is actually causing this. What is interesting is that after the chunks of it get stuck at the neck of the exit. And what happened next was that this chunk was pushed toward the exit point. Uh, and when it came out, it blocked and created a dam behind it. And then by passing of it, a huge lava tsunami, a wave of the lava started to come and roll out. That's what you will see in these uh, images. It's an amazing view that you can imagine that this is this volcano has now grown to 25 meters tall. And I will show you the people also coming after this uh, wave of tsunami, coming there, lava tsunami, and it spreads to that region. I'm going faster, and you will see the wave after this coming. And that block is actually holding the lava behind it, creating a pool. And when it passes, the pool gets drained. And you see a huge lava wave rolling out into the area around it. And like jam, it is spreads. And like flies, people walk, <laughs> run toward this hot jam to pick, <laughs> I don't know, pick a spoon of it. Somebody must have told them, look, I bet you cannot go and kiss the lava and come back. And one of them went, kissed the lava, then it, uh, it realized he's burned now. He cannot <laughs> do anything else with those lips now. That's it. That's the worst. Worst can happen. He, he took the challenge, the guy with the white dress, and then we see that he returns and disappears with a burnt lip. Lips probably. <laughs> That's... That's I, it's a joke. I hope that now everybody was safe. But it's really dangerous. You see how, how people are reckless. The overflow of the lava, which has started tonight, just a few hours ago, has now stopped. Strangely enough, this was continuing to the dark. It happened during the afternoon hours. And then it continued to the darkness of the night. Beautiful scene. You can see molten lava. Something as dense of, as concrete hitting the wall of the crater. Then suddenly this stopped. No more flow from this direction, which is toward the west. Then from behind, this is what we will see. A lava stream flowing from the north side of the crater. And then a stream of stars from the eastern side oozing down lava from both directions. The crater is practically shattered, is broken apart. The walls are collapsing. You can see here the biggest part on the top already has collapsed. The small one now collapses also. You will see it now just in a few seconds as you oh, we are waiting. Yeah, that's the moment it happened. Then a huge eruption. I will go closer to show you this. Unfortunately, because of the bad, bad weather, we were not able actually to see it. Look at this. It's look, looking like a molten metal inside a steel factory. The direction of the wind shows that the wind is very strong. So no drone probably was in the air to record this. But we have seen this before, once again, in the Little Koto volcano. This volcano, this one, which I have named as K1, is located at the boundary of the Eurasian plate and the North American plate. I'll draw the line. The line is defined by these earthquakes. No Eurasian plane, Grindavik is on it, and North American plate is Sorsengi and the rest of the uh, uh, Reykjanes Peninsula. As you can see, there was a tick, uptick, on the amount of the tremors, and also in the uplift in the Sorsengi. Interesting enough, this was similar to what we have seen previously. From the Little Koto volcano, as you can see here, we have this uh, footage from the previous eruption, amazing. This is the RUV camera showing you that. And this interesting enough happened during the spring tide when the moon is in the new phase.
usual collapse. Uh, we had a lot of activity, and uh, as you can see here, part of the wall, which has been uh, plastered practically by fresh lava for too long, melted and fell down into the crater. A small part first, then the second part, which looked like the outline of a mammoth or an elephant. Anyway, that's very interesting. This volcano never stops to amaze us. Keep watching, I will keep you updated. We had a massive wall collapse, and here you can see how it happened. The volcano was doing its usual job. You know what the volcanoes can do well is erupt and uh, you know make uh, everything covered in lava. So this volcano also in Iceland did this very huge ones actually sometimes, and uh, it was doing its job and uh, practically letting us have some fun because we are safe and for, uh, watching it a little bit further away. What happened later was interesting. If you continue to watch, you will see that this eruption finished, this phase of eruption finished. The walls of the volcano was glowing, it was gooey, and then suddenly one stream, second stream, and it looks something strange. One stream appeared after all of this, Continued, continued. You could see the outline of a block of rock. And under it became empty. The lava was falling from under it. And this lava was some part of it was solidified fresh. Some part of it was a uh, you know, older, older rock. Wall of the crater rim. And this also was brought down by that. So you can you can see it again here now. I will show you again. Look, it's like welding or foundry, or if you have seen the uh, yeah iron smelting. A big chunk cracked. Underneath of it was empty. It was just so hot it became fluid and fell down. And it didn't end there. It just was continuing. A, another big chunk also fell. That was the one that actually we saw, and uh, uh, it just noticed that uh, we noticed that the uh, volcano has uh, the shape of it has changed. Incredible collapse! Uh, this is this is beyond belief. In this volcano, we don't expect this kind of things. But if you look carefully, you will see a collapse happening, and I will explain what has happened exactly. This huge mushroom of clouds. In this volcano, never seen before like, like that. You may see it in the stratovolcanoes, not in this one. Mount St. Helen, not this one in Iceland. They are totally different uh, volcanic uh, eruptions, uh, volcanic uh, magma lava. This is what is happening. There is a glowing red patch on the north wall, and that collapses. That's what you can see here. I will play the video quickly for you, that part, that the collapse is happening. And it has happened now. I've speed it up again to like uh, four times. You can see that the cloud is rising. Now reverse it for those who like actually the reverse. This is the reverse of it. But there is another trick under my sleeve. I will put it back again now out in, into, the <laughs> into the air. Okay. This is what, what you wanted. You get it. That is beautiful. 
and I think this will mean that the delay of volcanic eruption inside the volcano we had a big collapse it has probably blocked the way earlier today we saw something very strange the whole lava lake was empty this is the K1 volcano and this is the Reckoners Peninsula of Iceland latest episode of the volcanism as you can see here we have just a glow reflected from the walls of this emptied lava lake it is just a chasm at the moment and later today again we had something dramatic happening a collapse this was huge and the location of it was interesting it was not the wall just it was something extending toward the view toward the viewer as you can see here it is a lava tube collapsing and i will play it again for you this is two times of course i will play it in real time so you can see actually how it uh, collapses this is the real time and you can see first part collapsing is closer to us actually so if anybody was there thinking that they're away from the rim of this uh, lava lake they were the first to go down if the collapse was happening at that time i'm telling this because people visitors we have been seeing them going to the area walking to the rim looking at it there was even some videos of, of that and this is dangerous i've reversed it again you can see that and the first part collapsing is the part that is away probably around 50 to 100 meters away from the rim and this is collapsing and where the lava has gone this is all the traces of lava you can see now they are toward the green dubik not close to it of course this is the remnants of it the lava lake was drained just a small amount remained and this is the watch is advancing and it will gradually cool down if the volcano don't become active i have that video which showed that what happened when the people were close to that a rim. This is similar to the lava tubes that we see in the Hawaii volcanoes and uh, as you can see here it's just a crust holding the uh, you know weight of the people and anything else that on top of it. Uh, there is a video which shows a few tourists uh, a couple and a kid it appears approaching the K1 crater volcano. Uh, Two hours before that, this MBL uh, video art, uh, I had just because of the heat uh, rising from the volcano, it was showing you it beautifully in the clear sky. Uh, uh, so we can identify, use this compared with that uh, video, which I give you the link. This is not that one, this is from the MBL. Uh, and this gives me a chance actually to find something that I can scale it and use the uh, that is scale to measure the size of the volcano. That is the area that uh, uh, the um, those tourists were approaching. This is the closest point to the lava from the Sunuka old craters, and this is the uh, quite a channel that you can see there from the edge of the channel where the, those guys stood. Um, the distance to the um, volcano itself. Based on the scale given on the map by the uh, Iceland Meteorological Office, is 300 meters. And 300 meters from there for the, uh, to the edge of the volcano, the volcano itself from one side to the other side, in my estimate, is uh, 120 meters. So based on that, we can use the image from the MBL actually to measure the height of the volcano. This is the area that those familiar features stand in the white rectangle, a point the base of the cone, and you can see 120 meters first source from there to the end of that other side. The height of the volcano, which is, you can see here, the highest point of it, in my estimate, is around 40 meters. So this is the closest we can get to estimating the size of this. And 40 meter looks realistic, and this is the height of that. I'll give you the link to that original video that I was talking about, and you can watch that also. I recommend you watch it and enjoy the view anyway.